Essex crumble at Chelmsford as Surrey take another step towards the title. The Division 1 leaders just about edge day one thanks to fine innings from Rory Burns and Dean Elgar. Essex hit back with a couple of late wickets and Surrey resumed on 256 for four. They could afford no slip-ups with their nearest challengers Somerset well on top in their game at Taunton. But it was Essex who made the better start on day two. Will Jacks dismissed in the first over by Peter Siddle, Dan Lawrence taking the catch. But Ricky Clark was in no mood to be tied down and hit his first three balls for boundaries. But Porter bowled Folks for 30 and Surrey was six down and still short of the 300 mark. Clark and Tom Curran saw them through to the third batting point and added 45 before Curran fell to Harmer, caught at short mid on. Morkel went quickly, bowled by Cook for a single. And the bowler had his third wicket when McCurr edged to slip for a duck. Surrey's innings was wrapping up quickly, but not without a final flurry from Clark, who took on both Harmer and Cook to reach his 50 off just 64 balls. The fun ended when Clark skied Porter to Tendishkata, out for 56 very useful runs to take Surrey's first innings total to 351. The Essex openers had to face two overs before lunch, but Chopra and Brown saw it through. At seven without loss, they trailed Surrey by 344. They'd only reduced that deficit by three when they lost their first wicket, Brown edging Morkel to Elgar at first slip and out for seven. And moments later, it was 10 for two, a poor shot from Chopra to Curran's bowling, Clark with the catch. Lawrence was the next to go, LBW to Curran, and Essex were in disarray at 20 for three. Tom Wesley mounted a fight back, hitting McCurr for two fours in an over. Papara kept him company for a while before skying a pull shot off Clark. Folks took the catch and Essex's follow-on target of 202 was still some way off. And even further away when Tendishkata fell to the same combination for just two and Essex were 53 for five. Pepper helped Wesley add another 33 runs to that total but he was next to go, Curran knocking his off stump out of the ground. Essex's last hope of a reasonable total surely disappeared when Wesley fell to Clark for 49. Surrey were in no mood to let up and before tea Clark had his fourth wicket, Harmer LBW for naught. Cook hit McCurr for three fours in one over to take the total past 100, but Porter fared less well, LBW to the same bowler for 12 and Essex were nine down. McCurr took the final wicket too, Cook falling to a great catch by Pope in the gully and Essex were all out for 126. Clark with four for 28 and Surrey 225 runs ahead. As they took tea, they had to decide whether to enforce the follow on. They chose to do so and Chopra and Brown made a solid start second time around for Essex. They'd reached 13 without loss when they went off for bad light. About half an hour later, the rain arrived to bring the day to a close. Essex still 212 runs behind, with 10 second innings wickets remaining. Surrey closing in on a win which would propel them ever closer to the championship.